My name is Evie and I'm a senior at Statesboro High School. I was the winner for my grade for the Young Georgia Authors Contest. The Young Georgia Authors Contest is this annual writing contest just for kids from K through 12, I think, for you to just submit like an original piece of writing you've done. The like throughout your the academic year that you're currently in and you just submit it along with and it gets judged along with others in your grade level. Yeah, I've done the Young Georgia Authors uh, writing contest since I was in elementary school. I have won before, I think I won last year and I don't think I participated in 10th grade but I also won in 9th grade for like just school and county, I don't think. Well in 8th grade I actually won the RISA so that was really exciting, but yeah. Okay, that's a good question because all the years I've won, I've written poetry, but it has been different. The only commonality would be that the genre is poetry because in eighth grade, it was just like really vague and cliche things, I think, and in ninth grade. But then like in 11th grade, I started to write about more life-centric things and because you know, life is really nuanced and has a lot of complexities and I started to take that into consideration because before my poetry was always very simplified and it like always narrowed down to just one message. But then last year I just started to really, well I started to learn more about poetry in general so that's probably why it turned into the way kind of it, it is now but it just got a, little, a lot more complex and this year, I wrote my poem after a Pulitzer reporting project, so now I also included like some current events in there too. So it's not just fiction, which previously was. So I wrote my poem, my poem was called Undocumented, and it's written after a PBS document documentary. It's, I would think it was, in, it was done in collaboration with the Pulitzer Center or something, which is, you know, it works with current events and a lot of stuff related to the news. And this documentary talked about this family that was affected by COVID and the pandemic. Well, yeah, COVID, the pandemic. Um, it talked about this family that was affected particularly, particularly because the father was detained by ICE, which is uh, the government agency that deals with immigration and customs. And there was like reporting on how undocumented immigrants were suffering disproportionately from the COVID pandemic because when they're detained, like the centers allowed for rampant spread of COVID and then like there's an increased statistic of un unemployment and homelessness. And so I just retold their story through this metaphor in my poem because I thought it was an interesting story to tell. This was actually my first time writing an after poem after something written in the news. Usually I just write my poems after my own experience and stuff like that. So this was really interesting to ex explore. And that's why I was kind of surprised when I won because it was kind of done on a whim. So after the district, I'm pretty sure it goes to Risa and then there are like 13 Reese's in Georgia, so I'm pretty sure after that you just go to state and then that's the extent because it's the Young Georgia Authors competition. So I've been writing creatively in my basically my entire life, but it hasn't been that big of a part of my life until I would say the summer before my junior year because before I would only write for you know assignments required by my school and then write on my free time maybe like one or two pieces a year and then the summer before my junior year was the year that COVID hit and so I had a lot more free time to explore and kind of expand this craft and I feel like that's where a lot of like much of my most of the improvement of my writing took place and that time or after that time that's when I started to also submit my writing for two literary magazines and Right now, I've had my writing published in 11 journals. Um, this piece re recently came out, I think it's coming out this week, or it, it came out a couple days ago, but it's in Passages North, which is 
the literary journal at North Michigan University. And there was one published a month ago at the Penn Review, which is the magazine for the University of Pennsylvania. And there are some others out there. I would say all of my teachers have been influential in different aspects of my life. In particular, I always mention Miss Calhoun. She's this uh, teacher I chose for my star teacher for um, this year's star student teacher like recognition thing. She's just been really passionate in whatever she does. She was my AP language and composition teacher in 10th grade, which was really transformative for me because like I said earlier, I didn't really seriously start writing until you know, after my sophomore year, before my junior year. So in my sophomore year, she really expanded my understanding of the different parts of literature and English because she showed us like news articles and like I didn't know the extent of media until her class really. And she was always really supportive of me. She would like tell me my writing was good, which was really meant a lot to me because I didn't think my writing was good and she really encouraged me to like explore writing. I think all careers involve writing in some way because it's such a crucial part of communication. I don't think I would spend the rest of my life just purely writing because I want to explore all the other aspects in the like academic planes, but my future plans are to study science, technology, and society at Stanford, and also I also applied for psychology and communication, so that definitely involves writing, and that's not a concrete plan, I'm not committing to that, I'm just seeing uh, like what areas I'd be interested in. So yeah, I definitely want to keep on writing, but I don't know if I, that would be my career. I would say for emerging writers or writers who want to start writing, the first thing to do is to start reading more, because once you start understanding and like analyzing other people's writing, you start to like, understand what's more of your style, and then like seeing what inspires other writers can really help you out to start your own writing career.